Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for the ability to be here today, Lord. We thank you for safe traveling mercies for our fans and our drivers to get here. And Lord, we pray for a continued blessing upon this day as we continue to do what we love and enjoy what we love here in a country that is free by the grace of you, our God. Lord, as we uh, have experienced many peaks and valleys this year in 2021, we definitely are riding out a 2021 season on a definite peak. Uh, we, we can't praise you enough and thank you enough for bringing fans our way and for bringing new friends our way and to grow our friendships and families the way we have. Dear Heavenly Father, we know it is by your grace and your grace alone that you allow this to happen. And for that reason, we come to you in prayer, praising your name and doing all things in your name. For it is in your name that we pray today for you sending your Son to die on the cross and which is the ultimate sacrifice for us. And we pray that anyone who does not know you or have that saving grace in their heart will come to that uh, grace that you can only give. And the people who are here that are saved, Lord, let their light shine through so they can see you come through in all that they do. For it is in your gracious heavenly name we pray. Amen. Outer York over in that left-hand lane, definitely in that tower side lane. Heads up start by both cars, and it looked like Peffley's out there, but Varner. Tyler gave him all he wanted there. Peffley wasn't sure if he was going to get that four-speed stampede down there enough, but he advances on into the next round. Okay, I was thinking Hackey got beat in the first round. Something must have happened here, but this right here could decide who's going to be the super stock champion. This is the guys that are number one and number two. Mark Hackett in the Mercury Poison trying to be the first ever back-to-back -back champion. He's going to get Ron Allison. Hackett goes red, and Allison goes to the next round where he'll run Peffley. So they are tied now. Steve McCleary, the war wagon, going against K.J. Phillips, the street legal Chevelle. This next round is Superstock really going to be outrun. Allison has got to beat Robert Peffley if he advances into the next round as he is just tied with Mark Hackett after Mark Hackett goes red. And Allison advances into the next round, but he's got to go against the four-speed Stampede, our 2019 champion in Superstock. K.J. Phillips beating the number one qualifier. Something happened in there with McCleary. The war wagon goes out in round number two, and he would have had a bye into the finals. That's what... K.J. Uh, Phillips, he'll run against the winner of the run between Ron Allison and Robert Peffley. Beautiful shot of our backup girls down there. We move into Sea Gas. Round number two is going to be the current third place in points. Only 10, 10 points behind the points leader, Larry Floyd, in the Stub Muffet car. That's Josh Pruitt against Ernie Smith. A couple of uh, Pruitt out of Inman, South Carolina. Ernie out of Spartanburg. 
Ernie, that Saturday night special, Christy Burtett backing him up. Like Christy working with a new backup girl. Ernie's got his hands full here with Pruitt because he is like 11 time winner with the Southeast Gassers. He won in Virginia, he won in Knoxville, he went to like the semis in Huntsville. Let's see if he can go to round three against the Saturday Night Special. Ernie's been. Wheels up start for Josh Pruitt. And it is Josh Pruitt driving away from Ernie Smith. He'll run against either Billy Wilson or Ben Shaw, the odd rod or the troublemaker. Larry Noel, the crazy horse car out of Aiken, South Carolina, going against Alexa Phillips, the flower power car. She Alexa over in that left-hand lane. Larry is a 20, I think, 2018 champion in sea gas. Alexa still looking for her first win in the flower power car. The way she's been driving, she has really, really come around. She's made some good passes here this weekend at Shadyside. It'll be a great place for her to pick up her first win. But she's got some tough competitors that are still in. Wheels up start by both cars. It looks like Larry Noel barely nudging her out. And you can tell by Tom's, Tom White down there. Dang it, she nearly had it. Larry Noel drives on around. The stud muffin, Larry Floyd, current points leader. He's still trying to win the world championship. Going against Jerry Melodontry out of Durham, Connecticut. He's in the tower side lane in the Northeast Assassin, former crazy horse car. If you look at him real close, you can see the paint job and all this stuff. They just changed the name. They left all that beautiful paint that Larry Newell had on the crazy horse when he sold it. Larry Floyd's campaigning that stud muffin car, the one that Leslie Horn won the Seagas Championship in in 2019. And that stud muffin, that high winding Fulton horsepower under the hood. That G-Force transmission in that stud muffin car is always a tough competitor. He's got to win if he's going to win the championship. It is going to be Larry Floyd, that stud muffin, Fulton horsepower, hooking up that win, advance it into the next round. Here comes the battle of the pickup. Billy Wilson. Winner of our Huntsville event, winner of our Ohio event. He's going against that Ford powered 41 Chevrolet of Ben Shaw. Winner's going to get Josh Pruitt in the next round. But it's a battle of the pickup. Studebaker, 49 Studebaker against a 41 Chevrolet with a Ford horsepower under the hood. That odd rod. Just about guarantee on wheel stands out of both of these machines. They're a good shot of the fans along the start line area and all that stuff. Is this crowd here at Shady Side always ready to see some good racing here as they're seeing here this afternoon? Our last event for the Southeast Gasters in 2021. Wheels up start with both cars, and it looks like Billy Wilson. He's driving away. Got one more pair. It's going to be Tim Hall against Shannon High. The high-flying 55 against the little rambler of Tim Hall out of Abbeville, South Carolina. Great shot inside the scalded dog. You can guarantee the wheels is going to be up on both of these cars. Right, Tim Hall winning. It looked like Shannon High left before the beams come on, so Tim Hall will be running Larry Noel in the next round.
Coming up next going to be B gas is there in the lanes and now hear them calling A gas as well. So they'll be falling right behind them. Bill Rev is going to vest around free. Tory Lightner, the shaking bacon car, not able to make the call. So a competition by. And Black Betty advances into the next round. Daniel Haynes out of South Carolina going against the Buford, Georgia based kryptonite Art Copeland. Daniel Haynes driving away from Art Copeland, advancing into the next round. Ken Rainwater in the tower side lane, the renegade, our 2021 Big Ass World Champion. He's going against Michael Walters, the Papa's Wild Willis. Ken Rainwater, I have to start this conversation out with a simple congratulations, brother. What a job. You wrapped it up just by showing in the gate at Shady Side. Talk about a year of performance domination. You brought it to the table. You make it sound so good. It was, it was a, great, a great year. You know, we didn't know what we were doing coming into this. We ran two races last year. It was all new to us, and uh, we just, a lot of work. We worked every week between the races. We tested zero. We came here with a different car every race, and we got better as the races went. And, you know, a lot of luck went our way, a lot of lucky guesses, but it's been an awesome year. Well, you know, luck only goes so far. Luck cannot take over, you know, the lack of preparation. And you guys have obviously come to the race prepared. I don't recall y'all having anything that prevented you from winning. You may have gotten out ran, but I don't think you came to the race unprepared. All of those things show the mark of a true professional, as well as having a professional like T.J. York on your tail all year long, but yet you held him off. Excellent job. Thank you very much. And T.J. is what we were shooting for. You know, he had the bulls eye on his back, and he's he's why we worked hard. And not not just T.J. Jerry Burt. There's so many in this big ass. This competition is so tough that you can't be off any on the start line performance. Et anything. It's got to be spot on. And and we were we prepared hard, and we came in here. It didn't always work out like we had it planned, but the W's came when we needed them. So it was a great year. Michael Walters out of Rayford, North Carolina. That Papa's Wild Willis in that left-hand lane. And that is Alabama's own Ken Rainwater. And that Renegade winning his first championship. He's trying to win the race as well. He won over in Huntsville, our first race over there. He said, I got to defend the state. This is a, when you run in your own state, you got to pick up that win, which he did over in Huntsville. Last end of last month. Ken Rainwater, Tower Side Lane, going to take that win. This is going to be a good run right here. The Freebird Jerry Birch going against TJ York, the Green Horn Hillbilly. Jerry Buck out of Roebuck, South Carolina. A little power horsepower under the hood with that high tire tranny. Good green start by both cars. And it's TJ York, Greenhorn Hillbilly advancing into the next round. Wayne Swalford. Leroy going against Ray Fossil in the busting loose Barracuda. This little Barracuda is for sale. This is the last race that Ray's going to be running. He's going to be moving up to Superstock next year. So if you're uh, looking for a great car, this one right here is for sale. Whoever the winner of this goes against Ken Rainwater in the next round. 
it just gets tougher and tougher. After that first round, it just gets tougher and tougher until you get to the finals. There's no easy wins in the Southeast Gassers. Ray Fossil. Looked like Fossil went red. He's actually left before the tree is activated, so it'll be Wayne Swafford against Ken Rainwater in the next round. Kobe Welch had a buy, and he's going to make his buy run. It's not going to get no easier for him because he's going to have T.J. York in the next round. Our final pair here in B-Gas is we'll move on to A. This is going to be Zach Hall. Going to get Charlie Lee, the Tennessee Charlie Ford Mustang, out of that left-hand lane. Zach Hall with that homegrown 55 in the tower side. Wheels up start by Zach Hall. Tennessee Charlie, Charlie Lee picking up that win over Zach Hall. And he'll have a bye in the next round. Rick Shackelford, uh, Mitch Dodd here, buddy. Finally getting caught up with all of the activity going on going into this final race. Been out trying to do pit interviews and things. And finally getting back in here with you for a minute. Let's do a little bit of commentating. Well, I tell you what, this crowd has come out today. They've really <laughs> turned out here at Shady Side as they always do. But they saw some awesome racing. But the yes is bet to come. I and and I was going to say, and why wouldn't they show up with a final round like this one was, you know, not scheduled to be the way it turned out and then the way it was built, you know, because you had all of these classes up for grabs and with all of the. Uh, all of the architecture that had been played in, in a gas between Kenneth Phillips and Gabriel Burrell and Leslie Horn, you know, all of the strategies that was played in that leading up to this final race. And he's got a super fast car today. So Ron Allison has got the tallest order of the day. He got more problem out running Pepley than he did than he would have had with Hackett. Yeah, because uh, like I say, it's just it's, but it's like I say, it's not over with. Oh, Hackett's absolutely. Hackett's just sitting not. back waiting. Pepley's going to be his best friend <laughs> yeah, if probably, if he can pull it off. If 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 Hack if Pepley outruns Allison in this round two, ending Allison's championship hopes, therefore handing it over to to Hack to Mark yeah, Hackett, Mark therefore there making Hackett the first man to win two championships yeah. back to back. Yeah. Uh, you know all of that. Mark Hackett is going to owe Robert Pepley. Christmas cards, Thanksgiving cards, birthday cards, everything for years to come. Now, right there, a round A gas, round two, first first car down. Rick uh, Varner not looking very good, especially after that first round win over Kenneth Phillips. Yeah. Man, that thing was picture perfect yeah, round it, one. That was I don't know if the track's cooling off or what, but uh, Varner's gonna go back. But he's gonna be worried. Yeah. About in hey. round three, who's he going to be? He's going to be running against. You know, the track gets cold. When the temperature comes down, the power goes up, and sometimes the traction gets better, and sometimes it gets worse. But either way, you know, when you got these cars and you got that kind of a potential problem going into the next round for Rick Varner is going to be full of questions. Yeah, it's, it's, all, it's going to be laying in the back of his mind. Is my car going to act just like it did then? Absolutely. And that last pass, that's a, the last pass down, is, you always remember, the last run is the last one you run. <laughs> You're only as good as your last run. Right. <laughs> yeah. we got coming up now, is this, this is going to be Chase Howard, the all-business car. He's trying to take care of business with the Iceman. This is uh, Rod Bergner. You, you know, i got to love the colors on that Chevelle, especially that gold interior. It, it looks so good. And, uh, you know, that thing just comes across really 60s. It really does. But as we've said many, many times, color, paint, picture, none of that means nothing when you put them in the stage beams, Rick. It's all about who's got the baddest hot rod. The winner of this is going to go against Rick Varner in the next round, too. So Varner's going to be looking at this, seeing who he's going to have to run after that pass he made on his by run there. No doubt about who it. Who have yeah. I got to run in the next round? And it looks like it's going to be Rod Bergner. Rod Bergener pulling it out over Chase Howard. The ice man cometh has come and gone in that round of racing right there. But I got to tell you, 
Rod Bergener, you know, he has, I think, finally gotten his red light blues behind him. He's going to be a tough customer in 22. You know, we were talking about that at Huntsville. We talked to him and told him, if you can just stop the red line. He said, I think I finally figured it out. He showed it in Huntsville. I think he went all the way to the semis there. Yep. Here he is going into round number three. And uh, so I think he's got it all figured out here. A gas is still up in the air. Is Leslie Horn going to win it? Red light star for Dean Jonas of Ben Christopher. Gonna, he got there first, too. And, and like Ben Jonas. Christopher having the power to pull around, Rick. Yes, he did. Leslie Horn, Todd Blackwell. Leslie Horn has one job to do. Win this round. You know, because he is sitting number one in the championship points right now. He has got two rounds on Gabriel Burrell. Gabriel's got to have three to pass him. Man, if Leslie Horn goes out here, it certainly opens the door yeah, for Gabriel. Especially if, if Gabriel can go ahead and win the race. If yeah. Leslie Blackwell's won a championship. Oh, yes. He yes, won it in B-Gas, and, and he moved on up to A-Gas. And he, and he is fast and lethal in A-Gas. And Leslie Horn's round before, just within, I mean, about a half inch of crossing the center line and being disqualified. So Leslie's pass last run was nothing that he can feel confident about. And now he's going up against a guy who is not only fast, but he's also one heck of a driver, Todd Blackwell is. So it's got to be really, really bad for Todd Blackwell to back out and hand it over. So Leslie's got a lot going on right now. Yeah, Leslie chose not to make any passes. He had done some testing earlier in the week. Todd Black was out last night. He made the third pass, his <laughs> fastest pass yes, all right. night last night. So he knows what these track conditions are because whether well, it's just about like it was last night at this time as we were running test and tune. So Blackwell, I think, is advantage right here. This he's is, got nothing to lose because he's be going to go trying to take out right. the and they man are that is they're this pre stage is ready to go. Rick, this right, right here. here, this definitely could be a final in any race. Todd Blackwell, tower side, Leslie Horn over in the left hand lane. Wheels up, start. Look like Blackwell out on him. And Blackwell pulls it off the slingshot. Blackwell taking the Puts win. Leslie Horn away. Opening the door for Gabriel Burrell to win his first championship, Rick. Oh, my. What a, what, what a story that's developing here, Rick. This is, this is just absolutely unbelievable. Leslie Horn has fought so hard, won like four races in a row this yeah. year. Coming from behind, taking the points lead away from Gabriel about three races ago, and man, what a battle it's been ever since. His, it's not over for Leslie. Gabriel has got to win three rounds now. Yeah, Gabriel's got a tough road in front yeah, of him. Gabriel's got to run Rob Walden in the next round. That he does, but here's the point. Leslie can no longer defend himself. Leslie can't make it any harder on Gabriel. So, you know, that Gabriel's chances now. I talked to all three guys, Kenneth Phillips, Leslie, and Gabriel Burrell, in the staging lanes previous to first round, and I asked them all, you know, what – what is going through your mind? How do you prepare for this? Because this is the facts as they are. And they all three told some pretty fascinating or had some pretty fascinating responses. Yeah, here comes our number one qualifier, Terry Housley, going against Barry Lynn, that little red wagon. Mr. Quick against the little red wagon. Gabriel Burrell, who's currently second in points, he's got to run Rob Walden. And then if the winner of that will have a bye. Hey. That would be great for Gabriel. That'll be Let's basically see what two these rounds. Two do right here, Rick. Barry Lynn's gonna have to cut down the tree, but Terry Housley, the Mister Quick car, driving away, really having to do some driving. That car really skating around, but he didn't back out of it as he takes that win out of that left hand lane in that Mister Quick car. And talking about Gabriel Burrell, he is due in the water next. I see him in the right lane, well, the left lane over there, and then also Rob Walden over here in the right now. Rick, here's what's going on with Gabriel. He breaks a transmission, second round of qualifying. He puts a kind of a screwed up ratio in it for round number one, but he got by with it. Roby Myrick, G-Force Transmissions, build him a new transmission between rounds. So he's got a transmission back in it with closer ratios than he had, or close to what he wanted, not exact. It is all on the line right here for Gabriel Burrell. There's a lot fixing to come out in the open in just a few yeah, seconds. Rick. Right here's going to tell the tale right here if he can get around Rob Walden. But you're talking about Roby Myrick. He has been a blessing. 
The God sent to the Southeast Gassers. That guy, has, oh, he's on hand. We got here Thursday. He was here building <laughs> transmissions at the track for these you, guys. You don't get no better manufacturer support than Robbie Myrick brings with I him and G-Force. That, I got to tell you, has the absolute team, best. Has yeah. been, he's absolute blessing for these guys as they are working with them, whatever they need and all this stuff, working Absolutely. and getting their transmissions. So Robbie Myrick has... With the G-Force transmission, those guys have been awesome with the Southeast Gassers. Look forward to being with us in 2022 I, and, as well. And, and I'm sure they're going to be because I think it's been a great marriage for both Sega and G-Force. Uh, obviously, it's been, I think, better for Sega than it has G-Force because of Roby. Right. You know, he has allowed our competition to be so much better because of keeping these cars going. Now then, here we go. It's almost showtime, Rick. Yeah. You know, we got we got old Strict 9 pulling in here. Rob Walden pulling up to the beams. Yep. Gabriel he's, Burrow he's looks got, to be he's waiting got on him. Gabriel and that Southern Flyer over that 31 Model A because of horsepower against they the Walden horsepower. They are Gabriel's in. Wheels up start by both cars. Gabriel. Around around two. And barely got around him on this upper I tell you, end. that car was fighting, Gabriel. You could tell the way it was lunging and jumping, but a round two win, and as you called it, Rick, a bye in third round, that puts Gabriel Burrell. No. I screwed up. Rick screwed up. Okay. <laughs> I don't want to admit. He's got to run Todd Blackwell next Oh, round. my dear heavens. So, uh, it's it's not going to get no easier. The plot definitely thickens now. Okay, we're about to go back to it. This is going to be KJ uh, KJ Phillips, the street legal Chevelle. He has the buy run into the finals. He'll run in Super Stock Finals against either Robert Pelfi in the Four Speed Stampede or Ron Allison, the Poppy's toy. If Ron can advance past this round and win the event, he will be the Super Stock Champion. But if, if Peffy takes him out. Mark Hackett could potentially wind up being the 2021 Super Stock Champion. I'm not really sure exactly. I know he was five points ahead, and he goes out last round, and that would tie him. If uh, So if Ron Allison goes out this round, then thinking that Mark Hackett is going to win the championship, in that Mercury Poison car, and that make he is the 2020 championship, make him the first back-to-back -back winner. And here comes the four-speed stampede. Robert Peffley coming into the tower side lane. He's out of Clinton, Indiana. He's going against Ron Allison, that Poppy's toy car. Ron is out of Sparta, Tennessee. He's over in that left-hand lane in the little Chevy calls Poppy's toy. Four speed stampede number one qualifier today, Robert Peffley. Trying to take out Ron Allison. And if he does, I'm sure Mark Hackett down there watching. Pulling for the four speed stampede. These guys have swapped back and forth on the championship. Peffley will win one year, Hackett will win one year. But Hackett won in 20. He's trying to repeat as the Super Stock Champion in 2021. But he's got to go against the man that's currently tied with Mark Hackett for points. And he goes red. Peffley going red and Ron Allison is going to take that win and that's going to make him the 2021 Super Stock Champion. He'll run against K.J. Phillips in the finals. And it looks like it's going to be the current points leader, Larry Floyd, that stud muffin car coming out first. He has the bye. He'll run either Billy Wilson or Josh Pruitt in the next round. Josh Pruitt, currently 30 points. He's trying to catch Larry Floyd, so not sure if, if he meets him in the next round and goes on to win the event, is that going to give him enough? Yeah. 
Larry Floyd, he's advancing into the next round and one step closer to the world championship in sea gas here for Southeast Gassers. Down you and Tim Hall just duking it out yet to see what he does in round three, but we know what you've done. By run, look like a good, clean pass. That's always a good thing, a by run. We always love it. Yeah, Tim and I are great friends, and um, hey, it's going to be all the way to the finals. It's a championship. Friendship ain't got nothing to do with it, but I'm assuming that's a good ticket, so that makes a by run even sweet. It's pretty good. <laughs> Coming up next going to be Billy Wilson. Ernie Smith in that Saturday night special trying to beat Billy Wilson. The winner goes against Larry Floyd in the next round. Larry, uh, the, uh, Billy Wilson. Troublemaker, Studebaker pickup. Green start for both cars. Gonna be Billy Wilson. Bill Wilson, you said you was gonna see me today, buddy. You wasn't lying. This thing's looking killer. And I think you was like number one qualifier or something, weren't you? I think we was number four. We ended up number four, but it's moving now pretty good. The cooler it gets, the faster it's getting. No question about it, no doubt about it, Bill. Like I said, this truck has came into its own this year. I don't know what you've done to it, but I know the competition hopes you don't do no more to it. Yeah, we've got a lot of help from a lot of people, so I just want to tell them thank you from Leslie Horn and Brian Harris and the Fulton Engine. It's doing really well. It's coming together really well. We'll see what happens to you for the rest of the day. Thank you, sir. Tim Hall, who's second in points, is still alive, and he's coming up loud. He's going to be going against Larry Noel. The crazy horse out of Aiken, South Carolina. Tim Hall out of Abbeville, South Carolina. Little Rambler against the Chevrolet. The scouted dog against the crazy horse. Tim Hall saw Larry, uh, Larry Floyd win, so he's got to stay, he's got to keep pace with him five points behind him time is running out for the scalded dog to win they're ready to go gonna be the crazy horse or the scalded dog going to the fourth round green on both sides and it's gonna be a scalded dog Taking that win. Nerve wracking. <laughs> it is. It's nerve wracking. And it even it's even more so when you know it's going to be my fault if I don't win the race. You know what I mean? It's uh, that, that puts a tremendous amount of pressure on the driver. But, you know, there's only three or four more rounds to go here, brother. And then it can be over. Uh, as I've said before, a uh, whole year's racing comes down to one. You know what? Like we said earlier, whatever happens, we're going to praise the Lord. So You got that right. Thank you all. Coming up next, the third round of B Gas is going to be TJ York, the 2020 B Gas World Champion, going against Kobe Welch, the Moonbeam, little ranchero in the tower side lane. Riley bringing him, waiting for him to do his burnout and get him back in. TJ trying to win the final race of the year. He's carrying that number one on the side, but he will not able to defend it. Ken Rainwater has already wrapped up B Gas World Championship. The Renegade car will be coming up a little bit later. Riley bringing him back into the beams and all family affair, the mother, dad, the sister, and the brother all. They got a tough competitor here with the Greenhorn Hillbilly. He's over in that left-hand lane. With that Greenhorn Hillbilly, after after some troublesome runs last night, he finally got it, figured it out, having to take horsepower with the car to make it work. Hopefully he didn't take too much because this bush cylinder heads on this Moonbeam car, Kobe Welch has been really passing out some passes. Kobe may have got enough. 
And it was Kobe Welch, Moonbeam. Kobe Welch moving on to the next round. Colby Welch, brother, you, you know, to be such a young, friendly young man, you're developing enemies around here in the B-Gas category pretty quickly, and none other than T.J. York, two races, two times you've beat him in a row. Yeah, uh, it really feels good to be uh, be putting one on him. He's been putting them on me for a while, and I, I think we're finally catching up and laying down some good time, so... We're going to see where the night takes us. We're running real strong, so I think we got a good opportunity. Daniel Haynes going against Bill Revels. Black Betty, the 63, coming against the little Ford Falcon of Daniel Haynes. Call the Patriot. Those beautiful skies there in the back there as the Patriot brings his car into the beams. All eyes are on the start line. Great shot there. Looking at that tack on the Patriot. Doug right up in behind him. Daniel Haynes if goes into the next round. Said it's a pleasure, you know, seeing this old Ford, this red, white, and blue American proud doing wheel stands and putting guys on the trailer. <laughs> Never get tired of that. Never get tired of that. That's right. Little, little Ford's been doing pretty good today. She's been fairly consistent, and she's been quick. Quick is what matters. So I'll round it up with this. Congratulations to you and Mary Beth. I look to see you in the next round. Thank you, Mitch. Appreciate it. We'll see you next round. And here they come up now, Ken Rainwater, the 2021 Big Ass World Champion in the Renegade in the tower side lane going against Leroy, driven by Wayne Swalford there in that left-hand lane. Pair of Chevy 2s going at it here in Big Ass. Ken Rainwater's crew getting him in the beams like he needs to be. He's already won the Big Ass Championship. He, he won in Huntsville. He's wanting to win the last race of the year here at Shadyside, but he's got a tough competitor here in Wayne Swalford. Both pre-staged. Green start by both cars. And it's going to be Wayne Swalford. Yeah, no cars running good. I just... You're going to have to come up with a new line, Wayne, because that one never ends. It's always running good. I'm sorry, bud. I just can't, I can't talk right now. No problem, brother. Good job. We'll look and see you. What's looking like going to be the late rounds. Good job. Here comes Charlie Lee. He will run against Toby Welch in the next round in the semis. We're in round three and round four to be Kobe Welch against Charlie Lee. He's going to ease on down the track. Now we move on to Agat. Terry Housley against Ben Christopher. Rick Varner against Ron Bergner. Todd Blackwell against Gabriel Burrell. Looks like the first pair out is going to be the dirt man, Rick Varner. In the tower side, he's out of Kannapolis, North Carolina. He'll be going against Rod Bergner, the Iceman. He's trying to make it to the semifinals. He made it to the semifinals. He finally was having problems. He had the 2020 A-Gas World Championship car. He just had problems with the red lights. He's got that problem fixed. Now he's trying to get around Rick Varner.
Rick Varner, brother, you know, you take out your kind of your teammate, your wingman, Kenneth Phillips, round one. Round two, by run, did not go so well. Round three, you back looking very, very strong, putting a guy like Rod uh, on the trailer. Yep. Hey, that Fulton horsepower just puts it on the track, buddy. <laughs> it ain't no joke, is it? Uh, Fulton ain't no joke. This is the man right here. <laughs> Uh, you know, I've believed in him for all of my life. I see that he's not lost a step, but as I said, you're looking very strong to go on into the finals. Kenneth Phillips for all of it. He helps me. I beat him, and he come back and raised the hood and timed the engine for me. <laughs> Ready to go. Well, there's not a better class act out here than Kenneth Phillips. Best teammate I ever had. Coming up, the next pair is going to be the side and who Varner's going to run. It's Terry Housley. The Mr. Quick car in the tower side lane is going to be the Happy Days car, Ben Christopher, over in that left-hand lane. They're both in the bleach box. Long, smoky burnouts by both cars. Housley over in that tower side lane, Mr. Quick car backing up Ben Christopher. Christy Burkett out backing him up. Mary Beth Haynes backing up Terry Housley. Who's it going to be? They're both free stage stage. Here we go. Housley having problems. Ben Christopher Brother finally getting back to some late rounds with the old happy days. You're looking very, very strong out here. This is Shady Side's usually a pretty good track to you. The air is good and the track is finally coming around. Yep. I think that is very evident. The track is getting killer. The horsepower is abundant. Good job. We'll look to see you in some later rounds. I hope so, buddy. Good Lord willing. Oh, he's always willing if we'll just listen. Thank you, sir. Now comes Gabriel Burrell. He's going against Todd Blackwell, the slingshot car in the tower side lane. He is currently fourth in points. Gabriel Burrell currently second in points. If he wins this round, he'll have a bye into the finals and could possibly go ahead and win his first championship as Leslie Horn got put out earlier Todd Blackwell put him out last round. But it don't get no easier for Gabriel Burrell as he brings the Southern Flyer, the little 31 Model A Ford with that Cosy horsepower under the hood. Katie bringing him into the beams. Patting him saying, okay, it's all yours from here. Make that Southern Flyer fly, but he's got a slingshot in the other lane turned to third pass this time. But Gabriel was turned to two fastest times last night in qualifying and testing tune. In the similar weather like we're having right now, the good cool temperatures here at Shady Side Drags, uh, the championship weekend here, the final event for the Southeast Gassers in 2021. Green for both cars. And Gabriel Burrell. We'll go to the next round. He has to buy into the finals. Gabriel Burrell, it's been a long time coming, and I don't know if you realize the math or not, but that one win just gave you the championship for AGAS 2021. Let me be the first to say congratulations, son. Job well done. What a fight. I am impressed and speechless. I am too. I don't even know what to say. I knew that was going to be a hard out and if he knocked the tires off or what. But I know that he crossed the center line, come into your lane, irrelevant. I'm tickled to death. I don't know. I mean, the, the car ran good all day. It ran decent enough there. It should have won either way. So I'm glad to be here. It's been a long uphill battle, six or seven years, however long here, just coming from dead last to not winning a round all year to finally winning the championship. So. Gabriel, you didn't finally win a championship. I think what we can say here is you have 
beat your way. You have won a championship in one of the most dramatic fashions I can remember in a long, long time. It's dramatic, I guess, because I think about it, a heart attack up there before I dropped the clutch, but man, I'm just tickled to death, so. So much riding on just that one pass. You have no idea that Todd's going to cross the center line. You ain't got no idea what he's going to do. You can know from the runs before that he's been lethal all day long. You have so much pressure on you, yet you react and act like a professional that you are. You have arrived. You are a champion, and you are 2021 world champion. It sure feels good. <laughs> Thanks. Well, I wanted Gabriel to win. You know, I wanted him to be a champion, but it don't hurt my feelings that we helped him. It, Gabriel is not a champion by himself. Oh, no. You guys are a championship team, and that's why I've talked to everybody here. His mother, his dad, your your partner, uh, Jack Mills. Jack, I call Jack Bud Moore. He, he's the him and Gabriel turns the wrenches. All I do is give them a little money just along, you know, try to keep them going. But the, Jack does you the know, work. The dedication that Gabriel has proven. I talked to your wife Pam his mom earlier today you know y'all truthfully do have to be proud of what Gabriel has done yeah I'm very proud Mitch he's turned into a real good driver and he's worked himself to death as you know the last couple of months yeah we had a lot of bad luck from mid-season on and we just hung in there though and kept thrashing at it well a champion never quits you know that well we tried not to <laughs> I told well, the other night I said if we don't win it won't be because we didn't try Congratulations, Larry Floyd. You are the last man standing in the Leslie Horn team up there. His chances for an A-Gas championship gone. You stood st strong, stood tall, brought a championship home for the team. Yeah, it hadn't sunk in yet. I just, uh, it's been a tough day. I mean, there's, a, there's some fast cars here today. I mean, Seagas has stepped up. Tim Hall, sure. Josh Pruitt. I mean, Absolutely. they have seriously stepped up for this race. And um, uh, I just happened to be at the right place at the right time. Well, you know, you've been at the right place at the right time for the most part of the season, Larry. That's how you win a championship on a season of competition, not one race. It just all culminated into one race, but you still stood strong. I did, and you know, it's, it's amazing how it can come down to five points. Mm -hmm. One round, he and I are going to run into finals. Yeah. If he beats me, we'll be tied for points after 11 races. <laughs> That's amazing. Absolutely. That just shows the competition that's in the Southeast Gasters Association, and it shows the level of you guys are all so good at what you do. Congratulations, Larry. I'm sure the team is waiting to talk to you. The race ain't over, so you've got one to win. One more to go. Thank you. And Larry Floyd is going to be running against Tim Hall in the finals. And that will put him into the finals versus Tim Hall. Now, if Tim Hall beats him in the finals, that would make them tied. And since Larry Floyd got to the lead first, Larry Floyd, that would be the tiebreaker, and Larry Floyd would still out. be the world champion. Yeah. Yeah. He'll run him in the finals. He has not won the race here tonight. Tough way to lose it. That's how close the big ass cop the world is going to come down to. Paul beats it. They will be tied. And since Floyd got there first, he will be the 2021 C Gas World Champion. Tim Hall. Jesus is called his dog down the track. Tim Hall, brother, you know your chances of the championship are gone. But there's nothing to, to look back on this season with regret because you guys, as Larry just said, it's still possible for y'all to end the season in a tie him winning only because he was there first yeah i mean even if that wasn't the way it was if it was race wins he'd still win it so he's got he's he's a champion he deserves it you know he did what he had to do to, to win it um i didn't know it but on that last time when we interviewed i actually set the record on that run and i didn't know it so i <laughs> 
Because I'm blind and I couldn't read the time slip. <laughs> well, and there again, you know, your car is running remarkably well. It's just that it come down to a race to where you were not solely in control of your outcome. You know, it depended on not only how good you were, but potentially how bad he was. Turns out, as we both stand here know, he made it to a point to where you cannot mathematically pass it. Yeah, I couldn't get on the same side of him on the ladder the way it worked out, and I yeah. couldn't. I had no way of taking him out myself. I was just hoping somebody else would, and they, had, they didn't do it. <laughs> so. Just along for the ride, but quite a ride it's been, Tim Hall. Congratulations, brother. We'll see you in the next round. Thank you very much. Charlie Lee and Kobe Welch. Kobe Welch, you guys, not only are you having quite a wonderful end of the season, winning races this year, going to the late rounds, taking out a sitting world champion, but not only all of that, but your performance has risen to a whole new level. As you were just talking, you have the opportunity to set a new C gas, I'm sorry, B gas record. Yeah, I mean we've been we've been definitely stepping it up in the past couple and doing our research and making the right choices where they need to be made and I think it's definitely showing we're learning and we're picking up time. So if if I can back that up, it'll be a good record and I'll be thrilled. Well, I would like to see you thrilled, Cody, because normally you're pretty well just the same no matter what's going on down here. But the point of it is, you know, I don't know where your research is at, but you're definitely looking and working in the right place. Good job. There's one more round to round this year up as a champion for the season or for the end of the race. All right, yeah, I'll try. Thank you. That one will last all winter long. Push race engines Andrew underneath Haynes the hood for him. Into the tower side lane, Mary Beth waving at the camera. She's Wayne right out there. She knows she's going up the walk a little bit. Because her husband does those long, smoky burnouts. Also, Will's up here to start. Walford and Leroy over there in that left hand lane. Ford Chevy hooked up here in the semi final scene. Who's going against the finals? And who's going to be running against Kobe Welch in that moonbeam? Daniel Haynes, the number five qualifier in that Patriots Ford Falcon. Wayne Swalford and Leroy, the number one qualifier, trying to take it all the way to the house here. He's got two more hurdles to get over with. He's got to beat this Ford first to get to the other Ford that just won a Kobe Welch in the Moonbeam car. Either one of them's not going to be a pushover. So, Walford's been, after, since that bye run, he's had tough competition all the way down. And that's a winner, winner that you beat the best. To be the best, you got to beat the best. Daniel Haynes, Tower Side Lane. Mary Beth is celebrating down there. It's going to be an Ohio Finals as Daniel Haynes in the Patriots is going to be going to get Kobe Welch in the Moonbeam. 
Daniel Haynes, I'm blown away. I tell you what, you know, I've always kind of been proud to wear a bow tie, but you just put one of the baddest bow ties on the planet on the trailer in Wayne Swalford. Congrats, my brother. Oh, man, that dude just knocked off the class record the last round. I was so happy. That's what I'm telling you. Where did you win it at? Do you know? Is it a whole shot or just a flat win? I can't see him. I can't see him. Uh, uh, no, it was not a whole shot. So you yep. saying the old Ford just outran him? I'm on out him by five. <laughs> <laughs> the old Ford just bad, ain't it? Old Ford just bad today, baby. <laughs> well, I tell you, there's one more round. It's going to be an all Ford matchup. You and Colby Welch, it looks like. So, hey, brother. This thing ain't no telling where it's going to stop at. From that. I got a score to settle on that one right there. It's going to be a tough one to settle. I think it's he just set a record. To settle. It's going to be a tough one to settle. I think he just set a, tra a, a ET record for Big Ed. Really? I think so. Right on. That's what I said. It's gonna be a tough one. I'm proud but of him. hey, one of you've you've boys, you've you've put him. you've put fast cars on the trailer as in last round. So Kobe Welch should be no different. Kobe Welch won't be no different. We get him too. We'll see y'all back here in a little bit. the slowest A-gas wins I've ever seen, but who cares? It's a win. Him going red, you breaking a rear end, and coasting through. Hey, when Lord <laughs> just blessed me, that's all I can say. Good luck is on your side. Luck is on your side. There's no skill involved in that one. I understood, brother. That's just the luck and the grace of God above, you know, so all you can do there is say, thank you, Jesus. But Ben, as you said, you got work to do. You yep. got to do it quick, but you got spare parts. Yep. That's how you win races is bringing spare parts. Yeah, if they'll give me a little bit of time to change it, I'll get it fixed, I hope. They'll probably work with you. Appreciate it. Good job. Gabriel Burrow on his bye run. That makes him the 2021 A Gas World Champion. Not exactly the most dramatic, the most uh, impressive run I've seen a man make as a world champion, but hey, it's down here. And as Cody was just reminding me, it gives you lane choice even still because Ben broke about first gear. I didn't figure it was going to give me lane choice. That's why I went ahead and stuck it in fourth gear and stomped it a couple of times, just trying to get quicker than he was. I had no idea how fast he was, but I will assure you it gave you lane choice. Well, good. I guess I'll see y'all here in a few minutes, hopefully. <laughs> good job, Gabriel Burrell, and congratulations once again. Thank you so much. Ron Allison, the 
Poppy's toy, 77 years old, going to win the world championship in Superstock as problems happen for Mark Hackett. That's why it is so hard to be a repeat winner. Is He was a 2020 championship winner. He's trying to uh, trying to repeat in 21, and it didn't. The wheels run off earlier in the rounds, and Ron Allison, Poppy's toy, trying to take the win home as well. He's going against K.J. Phillips, that straight legal. Little Chevelle on the other side over there. A lot of these superstock cars being built, and this is KJ's first weekend out, and it's really going to give him pumped up here to make it to all the way to the finals, whether he wins or not. He has been a winner here to go this far in superstock, the first time out at a Sega event. You are really going into the winter season. He'll be working feverishly hard trying to win it next year. I'm going to tell you something you don't even know, Ron Allison. Not only did you win a championship, but you won the race here, the final race of the season. You can take that and wear you all winter long, and your competition just spinning donuts behind you. You didn't even know that. He hit the wall. Oh, he did. <laughs> I sure didn't. I sure didn't. What a way to finish it up. I no doubt about it, you know, and, and, and that was young K.J. Phillips, his first race. He made it to the finals, and I told him in an interview earlier, he had one great big problem, Ron Allison, keeping him from winning the race. <laughs> uh, he seems like a nice kid. He come over and talk to me. Uh, same real nice. So. Oh, he is a very nice young man, and I'm sure he'll be a thorn in your side probably next year. That'll be okay. Ron, congratulations once again, brother. You are so cool. Your age proven it can still be done. Man, we love you. Congratulations. You. Okay, looks like you're coming, bringing out, going to finish up our three finals. Here comes Larry Floyd, the stud muffin, and Tim Hall, the scalded dog. And uh, we'll follow us up with B gas and then A gas finals. Floyd in that stud muffin car over in that left hand lane, the scouted dog Tim over here in the tower side lane. They've worked feverishly getting the track cleaned up and all this stuff. Thanks for everybody sticking with us here. Tim Hall was faster than me all day long. I don't know how to off the line. He made a hard, what this, he made a well, hard left hand turn. Did he? I didn't know what happened. Mine hooked up, it was gone. In fact, I don't even want to run. What it don't here. matter. You want to know if you ran enough to win, Larry. The point is, I just set the new record. To, new world record. How about that? See there? Now that's three things you get to take yep. with you. Ha! And you're going to have a good Christmas. It's going to be a good Christmas. Everybody's going to have a good Christmas. <laughs> Thanks, everybody, for coming. I appreciate the fans coming. Thanks, all of our, our sponsors. It's been one heck of a year. Larry Floyd taking it all the way to the barn. Wins the race and wins the Sea Gas World Championship. Daniel 
Haynes picks up his first win after the track crew. start by both cars. Kobe Welch. You just Kobe kidding. Welch, brother, you know, it's been a long season. You finally started winning races last year. Then you brought that over into this year. This is what, two races won this year, I believe, if I'm correct. You're doing it with massive performance. You, mom, dad, CS, everybody got to be tickled to death, man. This thing is just keeps getting better. Yeah, it keeps getting better. We've been working hard at it. And, uh, I mean, we're all doing our part. Like you said, it's a team effort. We're all contributing, and I bet they're down there celebrating. Uh, <laughs> I bet they are. <laughs> bet they like to see the hard work pay off just as well. Uh -huh. so it's, it's been a season. It's a good way to end it. We're going to try to carry it into next year. of the night. There you go. Christopher taking that win. Gabriel won the championship, but Christopher taking that win. People thinking there was something problem wrong with that right hand lane, but not for Ben Christopher. Is the happy day is going to have a happy day in the winter circle tonight here at Shady Side? Ben Christopher, congratulations! It has been a little while and you was worried about having time to change the rear end. I think you had time to build a new car over that oil down in Superstock. Hey, I had so many friends to give me help. Hey, I can't thank them enough. They come from everywhere. Ben, I hope you realize within, I'm going to say 20 seconds of you sitting right here, you had about five different race teams up here ready to dive in. Yep. They say the SEG is uh, Southeast Gasser's family, and it sure is. It shows. Well, that's wonderful, brother. But again, you've won a drag race. That's the big story right now. Yep. Another Ben, superb job. So happy for you. At the hands of Gabriel Burrow, the new uh, 2021 world champion in A-Gas. Shoot, man, you got bragging rights for the winner. Hey, my hat's off to Gabriel and all the guys, all the winners. I know they did really good this year. I I kind of had done so great here and there, but uh -huh. I hope next year I'll come around. <laughs> As they say, there's always.